Hello everyone, this is MP. So this is our third part tutorial in our VB scripting. So today we're gonna talk about the functions available in VB scripting. So right now, without wasting time, we're gonna start. Okay, so here I'm de uh, declaring like three variables, dt1, dt2, dt3, and in those three variables, I am having the date. So as you can see, so sometime in UFT or QTP, when we fetch the value from the UI and we want to compare it with the database. So what is happening like uh, uh, we have to convert the date for, uh, for a standard, standard format. So suppose that from UI, sometime you get the value like this. And then from the database, they store the values like this. So there is a difference. So to avoid that kind of uh, uh, a problem, what we gonna do, we will uh, convert both on a standard format. So, so that like both will have a standard format and then it is easily comparable. Okay. So let's start that. So there is a, a function which we have it here this is called c date so this function you gonna have to put the values in the parentheses okay wait guys so let me okay i wanted to uh, show you the conditional statement i wanted to make the video on conditional statement later but for this reason i am just wanted to do right now to make sure like everything works okay okay so just to show you how the real time scenario works so dt1 if dt1 is equals to dt2 then message box should say true okay else message box should say false and we have to close and if so let's see what it's what saying name redefined so what mistake we did one two three tt one two three oh my god guys oh what a silly mistake i did i am defining dim again and again okay so let's run it ah syntax error oh my god here i put the double values okay let's run that So this is false. So this is how uh, in a real case happened. Like even though it is a true, but right now it says it's false. So we have to correct that. So how we can correct that? Let's change both for in a standard standard date format. So what is that standard date format? Let's put that C date function and put the value in it and then it will convert it into the standard date format so double click you see now it is true so that is the difference so we can also see like uh, what it is doing message box d t1 and vp so there is a function to give a extra lane which is called vb control lane f and then we're gonna put and again and d t2 save it run it 
okay so it is uh, says two three so it is converting it is uh, taking out the zero and these zero as well so this is also same so if you see here true so let's change the third one it's because in the middle it has zero so see if it's also working let's double click it so see it is converting to the same format a standard way of So here it is filling, but why D1 equals to D2? D1, D3. Oh, because we didn't we didn't change it. That's why it is happening. So as soon as we change it, it will also pass. Save it. all right guys so now let's move forward so guys there are tons of functions available only for the date even though I'm showing this one but I I am sure like there are a lot more functions are also available so which you can see and you can just try by yourself okay so like this uh, now there is a function now here returns the current date uh, and time for our system let's play with it just save it and run it it will show the current time and uh, date so these kind of functions so like this function now we can use it for our logs so similarly the time seconds it can also tell you the seconds maybe somewhere in the in your scripting you have to use it so you can use it oh, so second is like uh, so we have to uh, give a value for the second suppose that if you give it time so it takes time time variable suppose that if we have a time like uh, uh, 9 column 22 and uh, 45 second then it will extract that seconds from the time So it is like that so these all functions are very useful so this can this will tell you if it's a date or not so similarly suppose that if you are reading some value from ui of uft then you may have to firstly see like if the value is coming up is a date only then you have to compare it otherwise you can throw an error over this is not a date it's a wrong value so test case or test steps can be a fail all right so guys there is a uh, another convert conversion i wanted to show you like suppose that if you are reading something from the ui portion with the help of your automation software even cuft or any so sometime you have to convert into it into the numbers so suppose that in my case if i have this uh, str number variable and i am assigning it to a string value it's a 45 whatever it is okay so now if i will show it if i will print it and run it it will be it will be a string right now okay so if i have to show you how it's work let me make a condition all right guys so here i uh, made a scenario so right now i am having like two different variables so one in one variable it's i am defining as a string type even though variable does not have any data type but 
uh, I am assuming this is a string and this is a, a integer so in a string I am putting the value like this in quotes and in the parentheses and in the sorry not parentheses quotes and in the integer I am putting the value just like we are putting in integer so here I am having condition if this this one is not equal, is equal to this one then show match and otherwise no match all right so let's run that so it is says no match so now we have to convert this string from string to integer so let's put here a function which is provided by vb c int so we gonna put this value in parentheses so we save it and then run it so it says it's matching all right so this is how we convert the string to the integer so guys there are some math functions so which are very useful in your scripting so whenever there is a needed we can use these uh, methods so simply uh, right now i'm seeing like the integer this is the kind of more most useful method which we have to use all the time sometime so what here i am doing so i having a number and i am putting the value in the number um, with some decimal values and then i am just showing it up all right let's run it it's showing the value suppose that if we don't want to see the decimal value and we want to just see the uh, simple number then we will have this integer method we will just put integer and then put the number in it and we're gonna save it and at the display time or whenever the comparing time we can just get rid of that decimal values so, so this is how so similarly these all these all are the methods you can try it out by yourself and see where you can use these methods so basically depend on the scenario to scenario sometime we have to use these method and sometime we really don't need to use these methods in our in our scripting so it depends all right guys so this is the uh, string methods so string methods are very very important we all the time we have to use it in our automation so whenever you will have experience of automation you will find out the string methods are most useful methods so you have to parse the string like this much this much and you know you have to always manipulate the string in a different uh, in a different ways to make it comparable or sometime we also have to use regular expression to match with that the string so these methods are really really useful let me show you one method okay so let's uh, see this example so here i have a string values and i am just uh, trying to put it in a message box then let's run this so this is giving like this and as the description says convert the specify string to the uppercase so just put you case and then try it so it is uh, doing as expected so it is converting all the values in the uppercase so there is another method which is very useful that is a replace method so it replaces the specified characters to whatever you want to replace with okay so let's uh, so let's run this first so now we are getting hello comma word so suppose that if we don't want a comma in the in the whole string then what we gonna do we gonna replace it and how we gonna replace it let's do that st equals to replace and then put that string in it 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 says what to replace if you have seen this so expression find replace with and there is another one so 
there is another uh, parameters we can also put from where to start what count of that character is and then there is another one so right now we are doing a simple case so we have to replace a firstly we have to give a expression so which is our string and then what we want to find in the string and that is uh, we have to define find a comma and with what we have to replace it or oh, let's put a just a space we don't want to put anything okay so let's put a space and close it and see if it's working hello world so it is replace the comma with the space if you want to put another character we can put it to let's put a plus sign and then it will just put a plus sign so this is how it's worked guys all right so there is another function which i wanted to discuss with you so right now i have a just a integer and i'm putting the value in a in the decimal so let's uh, double click and run it it is showing 1.65 so if we want to round up the value we have a round function so you guys can always google it like there are plenty of functions which are available and some functions are very useful we reuse too many times and some functions we we don't use it all at all so right now i'm most likely showing those functions which we are like mostly used in our programming so this gonna round the round the value so let's run it so this will make it to why it make it to because it is uh, uh, more than 50 so let's put a one or this let's put a two so now it will make it a two only see so if it is more than 50 then it will go to the three if it's uh, less than 50 then it will go to the lower value whichever it is fine so right now it is doing three all right guys so this is pretty much it for this video i hope you like the video and stay tuned i will i will meet you in another video bye bye